Hey everybody, it's Anna Danke here. I am going to teach you how to make a snuffle mat today. So I'm gonna start with the supplies that you'll need, the materials. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to get is a kitchen sink uh, mat. I usually find these at Meijer. I'm sure other um, larger stores have them, but they're nice because they're um, pretty durable and they have this nice um, backing so they'll stay flat when you are finished and your dogs are using them. These run at about $6.99 I've found. Um, so you wanna get one of those and you'll also wanna get about half a yard of fleece uh, material and I usually find it at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I think Joann's or other fabric places might sell it um, and it usually runs about $8.99 per yard and I usually buy half a yard. I find that half a yard is about as much as you'll need a little bit extra for one snuffle mat. I mean, you'll want, once you get your fleece, you wanna cut them into, cut it into strips about this length. Um, so about like, I don't know, half of a finger wide and about the length of your hand. Uh, you just want to be able to double knot this um, on that kitchen sink mat that you just um, purchased. So the next thing you're going to want to do is take your piece of fleece and take one of the little corners on the far end and you're going to, I've already kind of started this one, so you're going to take the corner of the fleece and thread it through one of the holes through the back. Pull it about halfway through so it looks like that halfway through and then take um, the end that's on the bottom and that opposite corner and thread it again through the hole that's right next to the one you just threaded through and um, I usually like to kind of line up the ends here and then pull tight and then you just do two overhand knots so a double knot one pull try pull tight Two pull tight. So you end up with two pieces of fabric coming out from your mat on the top and I've already got two other pieces here. Um, so you just kind of repeat this all along the rows here and I usually like to alternate. So this one's going to be gray, blue, and green. So I would just start again with gray and go across, gray, blue, green, gray, blue, green, and then I would flip these up and start again on the next row. So again you can do whatever pattern you want. Um, I've done them before where you put the little uh, initial of the dog, um, which is kind of fun. Um, you can get as basic, you could leave it one color if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what the process is. And I will post or include a picture here of the final project product so you can see what it looks like. But snuffle mats are amazing enrichment for dogs and they provide another opportunity or another way to feed their meals or scatter treats for them. It is kind of like a fake faux grass idea. They're using their nose to sniff within those pieces of tied fleece that you put together. Uh, it gives them an opportunity to use their nose really nicely and it usually takes Rowan, my dog, about 20 to 30 minutes to get through a full meal if I sprinkle his kibble in a snuffle mat. Um, he's a slow eater anyway, but um, for a dog that is super aroused by eating their dinner or any meal, scattering the food in here gives them an opportunity to kind of slow down, sniff, chew each piece of kibble slowly. Uh, so it's a great great enrichment and uh, just tool to use with your dog. So if you have questions, let me know. I hope you enjoy it and happy snuffle mat making.